All right. Here's another related rates problem. It says a trough of water is 8 meters in length, and its ends are in the shape of isosceles triangles whose width is 5 meters and whose height is 2 meters. If water is being pumped in at a constant rate of 6 meter, cubic meters per second, at what rate is the width of the water changing when the water has a height of 120 centimeters? To start, let's go through and identify all of the quantities that we know. So we have a trough of water that is 8 meters in length. So this is going to be 8 meters down here. Um, the ends of the trough are isosceles triangles. So that means um, each uh, you know leg is going to be um, congruent. Um, the width of the triangles is five meters, so this is five meters here, and it's gonna be the same over here. Um, and the height is two meters. Um, so we have all of that. That says if water is being pumped in at a constant rate of six cubic meters per second, so that's how the volume of this, uh, of the water is changing. Uh, so I'm gonna say V prime is equal to six cubic meters per second. Um, at what rate is the width of the water changing when the water has a height of 120 centimeters? So when we're saying at what rate is the width of the water changing, um, we're wondering how is the width changing? Um, but really it's the width uh, down here. How is this changing? Um, so we're going to call that W prime. So that's what we're trying to find out here. So one thing we'll do first is, uh, or next, is uh, use the fact that the end triangles here, so the, the triangle for uh, this trough, this isosceles triangle, is going to be similar to this triangle here uh, where the water is. Um, so, and we're saying that the height down the middle of this triangle is uh, that two meters. So what we could say is uh, the width, let's see, uh, this is the width here. Um, so the proportion we can say is uh, the ratio of the width to the height here is going to be five to two. Okay, um, so uh, the reason that that is going to be useful is because um, in the formula for the volume of this trough, we're going to say the volume is just um, the area of this end piece, which is a triangle. So it's one half base times the height, and then that is getting multiplied by whatever this length is. Um, so that's times L or the depth, depending on what our perspective is. Um, so cleaning that up a little, we're going to have V is equal to one half uh, the base times the height, and our length is eight. So eight times one half is four, so our volume is equal to four times the base times the height. And maybe I shouldn't be using the base here, maybe I should be using uh, the width because that's what this problem is. Um, using. So we'll use the same uh, variables here. So 4 times the width times the height is going to give us the volume. So uh, back over here um, we have this proportion and in this formula that we have for the volume 4 times the width times the height, um, ultimately what we're trying to find is W prime. So if we can get this, uh, our formula with um, only in terms of W, V, and W, um, we'll, be in, we'll be in good shape. So um, let's solve our proportion um, for H. So we're going to get 2 fifths W is equal to H. So I'm going to make that substitution right here. Okay, so uh, we end up with V is equal to 4 W times 2 fifths W. Uh, multiplying that together, I'm going to get uh, 8 fifths W squared. And now let's 
differentiate with respect to t. And I'm going to get v prime is equal to well, that's 16 over 5 w times w prime. Um, so we have v prime that was given to us up here. That's 6 is equal to 16 over 5. Now w, um, we don't have a value for w, but we can find the value for w uh, using our proportion over here. So we're going to try and find w in that proportion, and we're given a height, which is 120 centimeters. Now it's going to be a good idea to write that into meters, so that's going to be 1.2 meters. The reason to do that is all the other measurements, uh, all the other distances are measured in meters. Um, so that's our height. So let's substitute that into this proportion. So w over 1.2 is equal to 5 halves. Um, solving for w, we're going to get uh, 3 meters here. So I'm going to substitute that in down here. And then we can divide and solve for w prime. And doing so, um, we're going to end up with a value for w prime of... 0.625, and that is meters per second. So what that is telling us is that is the rate um, that the width of the water is changing um, at the moment in time when the height is 120 centimeters or 1.2 meters.